Good morning, everyone. So I woke up to my name plastered all over social media, and I am surprised. A clear conscience, they say, fears no accusation. But my dear, when my reputation is at stake, I have never slept with Apostle John Suleiman, Nollywood actress Queen Unkoye cries out. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, see your boy Chi Chi. So in this video is all about um, Nollywood actress Queen Unkoye and Apostle John Suleiman. Alright, so we all know that um, Queen Unkoye was among those popular Nollywood actresses that was dragged by this popular blogger and according to the blogger, I said that um, Queen Unkoye had a matter of fact slept with um, Apostle John Suleiman, they were having an affair. But when Queen Unkoye got up one morning and saw that um, all her pictures is all over the internet, what is really happening, she's the gist. Uh, trending around so she had to get up and make a three minute video and then um, to debunk the news she says she's not really happy about what she's seen on the internet about her that why would she come out and sleep with a man of god that if she does that hmm, god save no go and they happy with time god go verse with time and as a matter of fact it is even a cause that she can sleep with somebody but not the man of god where well, everybody don't know apostle john silly man now ever since this nigerian canadian based um, lady accused him of you know dumping her is just in her life tarnishing her image and all of that even about the story of her alima Abubaka and all of other ones so guys man what is really happening what is happening is this really true why should queen unkoye be dragged me myself i love this um, queen unkoye i mean i love her uh, movies a role how she acts in the uh, movies and i see her as somebody that is disciplined somebody that you know have this respect for people not to come out and say that um, Queen, Queen Unkoye slept with a man of God. Anyway, we are not there. They say HIV don't they show for face. I sure what they don't write down for face. But anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with this video and hear from her mouth and hear what she had to say about this rumor. We'll be back. Good morning, everyone. So I woke up to my name plastered all over social media and I am surprised. A clear conscience, they say, fears no accusation. But my dear, when my reputation is at stake, I need to speak up. When you are in the public eye and you're being accused of something, especially something you didn't do, you're always advised not to talk, to ignore. And trust me, that is what a lot of people count on, to write nonsense. They count on you not speaking up. Because when you speak up, you're being bullied oh close your mouth you did it i heard they have come out to debunk anyway i am not one to be bullied when it comes to something i didn't do most times i see things written about me and i don't talk i don't bother but you see this one i will not keep quiet i will not because i have a right to what i want my name to be associated with and this clearly is not one of it let me tell you something. Mistakes are a part of life. Everybody makes mistakes. I am not a saint. I have made my own share of mistakes. But you see one mistake I will never make. Sleeping with a man of God. God will judge me. Posterity will judge me. It is something I have never even thought of doing. And I will not keep quiet for you to use me to accuse someone or to make someone look bad, especially when I know what you're saying is not true. My conscience will not allow me to do it, and God will not forgive me if I don't speak up. Let's be guided about the things we write and post, because I don't understand how someone can just wake up and write something you know in your heart of hearts is not true, and then post it. Posts go very far and people tend to believe everything they see on social media. So before you write that thing, before you accuse someone, make sure it is true and you're sure. Because trust me, accusing someone of doing something 
the person didn't do hurts. It's not funny. It might be entertainment to you, but to the person, it is not. I have never slept with any man of God. I would never sleep with any man of God. My conscience will not even allow me to do it. Thank you. Alright guys, so you've had Queen Unokoye, she already denied the allegation that she this, even though she's in good times with Apostle John Sulema, you know, they are friends and all of that, but how come you guys are friends? What's it connect you with Apostle John Sulema? Is he now a Nollywood actor? Is he now a shooting movie with two people in locations? I don't know. Or have you guys ever shot movie in his church? These are the things that when you keep asking yourself, you, you even be blaming uh nollywood actors and actresses for you know going outside their field okay look at that of you the going to politics smoke a kindle turn to dk desmond idiot i'll be desmond elliot he doesn't even know what he's doing because youth are not really happy with him that they put him there and he just forgot many people what he's supposed to do let me not even talk about that guys so what do you guys think about this do you think queen umokoye is saying the truth well, for me, I think if you ask me, I would say maybe she's saying the truth because Queen Okoye is somebody, one of those Nollywood actresses that I used to respect so much. I love that movie. I love the way she used to act. And she acts like people, uh, like uh, including Sivanus, we always, you know, they, uh, their lifestyle, you know that these people, they are good, they are respectful, they, you know, they don't have issues and all of that. So, but right now, what... I'm still asking is that uh, why, how come you have, you know, link with this man of God, Apostle Joseph Suleiman? Because as a matter of fact, Apostle Joseph Suleiman has been trending earlier this year, like I mentioned earlier before. And then hmm, they are just the one tarnishing their own image. If they don't open uh, all these gist for us, we won't start to say it. According to a Yoruba ad, they say that, that is, if the world does not open mouth, the lizard will not enter into the world. So you feel me now, guys. All right, well, good luck to them. Anything, any just like this, I will still go to. We still continue to um, investigate <laughs> with the online in-laws and with the army boss. We go still continue to investigate. So let me take a, uh, you guys out from this Queen um, Oko ages. And then let's talk about what's her name. Um, Ini Edo. Yeah, Ini Edo now. Hmm, everybody, they collect water, water from this country. The, what is happening in this country. Not even about the security now, and the, the insecurity rather, but about our economy. Because, as a matter of fact, Ini Edo said, the blessed is not the white and blue black. She has come out now to raise concern over the nation's country economy. Hmm. And she said that, see, even our basic amenities, the light, water, things we buy, and everything, is just increasing. Fuel increasing. And all of this, you guys know that hmm, celebrities, they like moving from one place to another now with their cars, with their vehicles. So they must buy fuel now. Nobody be peace, then they peace inside. And then she came out on her Instagram page to say, see, it is high time that Nigerian youth get your PVC. It's high time you get that permanent voter's card. And she wrote, on a serious note, guys, everything in this country has really gone south. <laughs> Even economic ticket is about 100,000 due to lack of aviation fuel. Dollar we hit 700 in a matter of hours. Not telling you who to vote, but use your tongue to count your teeth. My own is get your PVC. It's only a few days left. If not, then you would have lost your right to complain. If this mishap befalls us again, I pray that affliction will not arise the second time. Rise up for your information. DSTV rate is also on a constant rise and so is data. She included. Hmm. Guys, it's not really, really funny at all. It's not funny. Everybody don't they collect. Woto, woto. Even though we know that this... Uh, Nollywood actors and actresses, they are doing well, you know, as celebrities, uh, they have money and all of that. We know that they also have one responsibility or the other. They have families to take care of. They have bills. They have children to take care of. Their parents are also there, especially those whom their uh, dad and mom are not yet there, they are still alive. So, you can see that, see, it's not, it doesn't, it's not matter of who you are. 
Even the insecurity now, we had that uh, the presidential guard was attacked. If the presidential guard was attacked, then it is really finished. Guys, everything we just need to be praying for this country because as it don't be like this, as any idea don't come out the other time, what is her name? Kate Henshaw, Lupta also came out to um, talk about the economy, talk about the insecurity that all these things that is happening, are we not seeing it? So far, no matter us, even Charlie Boy himself came out to say his own that see, in uh, in don't too much, I be in over too much. Ah, guys, so this is where I'm going to end this discussion. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and you've learned one or two things. Know people you friend, know people you friend, and then um, be careful of who you follow because tomorrow you don't know who's going to blackmail you. So I'm saying this uh, based on the gist of actress, okay, uh, actress Queen Unkoye. And he and the opposition to cinema saga. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give your guy a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Thank you to my returning subscribers. May God bless you. And until next video, I will see you guys. Bye for now.